Today, I'm going to show you how I fill my containers with soil. The cost of potting mix has gone up significantly. It can be quite expensive to fill your 18 gallon container with store-bought potting mix. I like to save money using a combination of materials that are beneficial to building healthy soil without breaking the bank. Below are links to my videos Filling a Container Part 1 and Part 2, where I walk you through the whole process. Step 1. Starting with an empty 18-gallon uh, storage container, find some tree branches or logs to put in the bottom of your container. Step 2. Add green and brown leaves or whatever you can find. I usually ask friends to save their, yards, yard, their yard clippings for me. Add shredded paper. Paper is made from wood and will break down and create soil. You can also add strips of newspaper. Step four, add cardboard. That can be toilet paper or paper towel rolls if you have some. If not, start saving for your next container. The nice thing about container gardening is you can set up one container at a time. You don't have to do your whole garden all at once. Step five, add a half a bag of inexpensive garden soil. Depending on the amount of other materials, you've already added, you may want to add a full bag. You can also dig up some soil from your garden if you have some. Step six, this is the most important step. Add your kitchen scraps. This is a good time to clean out your refrigerator. As the scraps break down, they create nutrients for your plants. I use fruit and vegetable peels. Don't put meat or bones in your containers. They attract animals that you don't want digging in your containers. Also, banana peels will break down faster if you chop them up. Step seven, top your kitchen scraps with a half a bag of good potting mix. This is where you really save money. You only need enough of the more expensive mix to add about one to two inch cover over your kitchen scraps. Step eight, your last step is to water your container until you see water come out the holes in the bottoms of your container. Your soil will start to go down this is to be expected as the contents of your container settle. It, if it goes down too much, add more potting mix to the container. Just to recap, starting with an 18 gallon storage container, be sure to add drainage holes to the bottom of your container. I add my holes about one to two inches up so that my container will hold moisture. I live in zone 10A, which is hot and dry. Uh, we have hot and dry weather. If you live where your weather is mild or cool weather, you may want to put your holes at the bottom to allow for good drainage. Then add your logs, twigs, and branches. Next, add a mixture of brown and green materials. Shredded paper, cardboard, paper towel rolls, etc., inexpensive potting mix, your kitchen scraps, and top with a good potting soil mix or compost if you have some. And finally, water deeply. Thank you for watching. This is the Yuma Gardener. I hope you have found this information helpful. The goal of my channel is to create a microenvironment 
using native and other flowering plants where hummingbirds can stop, feed, and rest as they migrate through the desert southwest, as well as providing shelter for those that stay.